Hello, welcome to LED Toys. Here we are at Emma's house. Emma lives here in her beautifully architect designed house, designed by the architect who is actually her mother, Charlotte, and the interior design, all of the stuff that's inside, is by her father, Lewis. Now, Emma has got her own bedroom, but just like all the other Lego friends' houses, the poor parents, oh look how sad they look, they don't have a bedroom. So maybe they could sleep in here in the bathroom. Does that look comfy? Do they look cozy? Uh, maybe Lewis would be more comfy there on the map. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe they could sleep up here in the attic. They could stick their heads out of the windows, catch a nice breeze. It would dry their hair off after they've washed it, but it doesn't look very comfortable. Maybe down in, in, in the lounge room, maybe? Yep, maybe Charlotte could sleep here and Lewis could sleep on the piano stool. I've, <laughs> I've modified down here a bit. Or in the kitchen, they could, oh yeah, look at this. We could actually put the chairs down Turn them into beds. Ta-da! Look, all you need to do is be a little bit creative, but they've got so many places to sleep in here. What about outside Emma's room on the balcony? They can sleep upside down just like bats. No? No, I think that's ridiculous too. So, we are going to build them their own custom designed room for Emma's house. We'll now call it Emma's and Emma and Emma's parents' house. Hold on, there's probably too many S's. But anyway, we're going to try and design it so that it fits in with the architecture and the structure and the colours of the rest of the house. And I'm actually finding that a little bit difficult because... Oh look, okay, we'll put this hook here because I want to hang some pictures on the inside. But there was actually... I actually don't have a lot of purple and... I'm gonna try and make up for that with with uh, white and yeah, but the rest of the house is the majority of it is purple, and I do not have many of these light purple bricks for building up nice and big at all. So I'm going to be inventive. But in the meantime, while I'm being inventive, this is the outside of the window. And it's going to be recessed because that's what's happening in the rest of the house. And we're going to put just some really nice random flowers on this recessed area. And they're not going to create any pattern because as you'll see, we'll, I'll, I'll have a look. I'll show you the rest of the house in a moment, the front of it. And where they've got lots of flowers and lots of plants because that's obviously what they like. But they don't have any sym symmetry or anything like that. So look, have a look. So up here outside the bathroom, there's a whole heap of plants. And down here, there are a whole heap of plants too. And they're recessed. And I think this is going to, I think this is going to tie in very nicely. It's not going to matter too much, I think, that I don't have many purple bricks. Okay, the outside wall is done. So I'm going to use up some of my remaining lavender bricks here for the extra walls, <laughs> the other walls. And I've got some little inward facing studs here to hang things from. And I think I'm going to make a feature shelf here. And yeah, I think that's going to be to feature a very special object. I will tell you about it all in a moment. <laughs> the other wall here, we're going to put a massive mirror. In fact, the whole wall is almost a mirror. Actually, it is a mirror. And above the mirror, I'm going to leave space to put a whole heap of lights to some beautiful lighting. Okay, the walls look good, so we're just going to put on our nice smooth topping well smooth with a whole heap of little studs so we can attach the roof on the top and we need this this line of pink because that's going to tie it in with the rest of the rooms in Emma's house as well so what do you think Charlotte is it going quite well is it matching the rest of your architecture I think it it's doing okay okay I did mention a line of lights so this is what we're going to do here nice and classy we're going to keep it simple so that's above the mirror and on this side we're going to hang a mosaic very, very artistic this room is going to be, full of colour but not too much clashing colour, <laughs> I hope. And this is going to be a very big fancy overhanging lamp for their bed and hmm, I'd like to put, that has to have a hole in it if I want to put this jewel in it to make it look like a really cool light bulb. And hopefully I haven't made that too heavy so it's not going to dangle down too far. That actually looks really good. That looks very classy, very sophisticated. Uh, except I can't get it to go at quite the angle that I want it to. So I'm going to just squizzle it about until I'm happy. I'm kind of happy there. We'll put Charlotte underneath and hope it doesn't drop down on her head. <laughs> okay, we've got the walls, we've got a lamp. Of course they're going to need a bed to sleep on. We're also going to make this simple and sophisticated and classy. And it's just going to be navy blue 
so that Lewis doesn't feel too out of place in a really girly room. And with purple stripe, and this is a bed in three parts. <laughs> There's two parts. Here's our third part. We'll put all these nice roundy pieces and the purple stripe down the middle. There, that's the bed. And I think it looks as though it's going to be nice and comfortable for them, especially as they've been used to sleeping in the bathroom. They're probably going to like any bed that we make for them. <laughs> so we'll put this over here underneath our overhanging lamp. And it does. It looks very sophisticated. And Lewis says it is really, really comfy. So it's got his tick of approval. Now, I've decided that Lewis is actually going to be a bonsai tree enthusiast. So he's going to have a feature bonsai plant here in the in the bedroom so he can keep an eye on it at all times of the day well all the times of the day that he's actually in the bedroom and we're gonna put some cherry blossoms on it because it just looks so sweet and it's going to be a gorgeous decorative piece for the bedroom look at this a bonsai cherry tree and I've put some studs on the front of our gorgeous base here and I'll show you why in a moment but let's install this over here in front of the mirror it's gonna reflect the light Beautiful, we're creating a lovely peaceful setting for Charlotte and Lewis's bedroom. And this stunning picture that Emma took in her photo studio of herself and her little kitty can go up here on the wall. It's wonderful. Now, these display areas are also going to be a combined hobby for Emma's parents. I've decided that they love collecting. In fact, they're obsessed about collecting gems and minerals. And they're going to have this Oh, stunning display in their bedroom of their favorite pieces now I don't know what all these gems and minerals are gonna be look at this one it is bright translucent orange but they put their favorite pieces we're gonna display them in the bedroom for them oh there's a red round one that might be a rhodochrosite slice a really gemmy piece and this here is pink I don't know what it is but it's in a crystalline form and it's it's just going to look so so nice in their bedroom how many more not too many we don't want to clutter it up too much and have too many dust collectors that they have to dust all the time it's gonna be just a gorgeous eclectic mix of color and star so favorite piece most valuable piece is going to go up here on the display overhanging their bed looks stunning there this one's gonna go over here it's gonna catch the light coming through the window and maybe the pink one in front of it. I've tried to get these at slightly different levels so they can all be displayed to the best <laughs> best opportunity and right over near the mirror this really vibrant orange one and some more of the little flatter ones up here in front of the bonsai tree and the little red one here I think the little round red one and the really fancy gold one do you think that might be real gold in that blue pot? Maybe they're growing gold. <laughs> you can't grow gold. Oh, okay, Charlotte, Lewis, I think your room is ready. I think we've put enough things in it and it looks so pretty. Lewis is so excited to see all of his minerals here and the bonsai and, oh, they are very, very excited. Emma, what do you think? I know it's even fancier than your room now, <laughs> but that's okay. We're gonna go and install it on the top of the house, not quite on the very top. We're gonna take the attic off and put it up here. And then we'll put this little attic area on the top and the colors match in really nicely. Oh, hold on. We haven't snapped it on quite so well. I've got maybe too many studs up there, but we'll make do. It ties in really nicely with the rest of the house. It looks okay on the outside and on the inside. And now, oh, now Emma's parents have finally got a bedroom of their own and they have settled in and they've both got to their own individual work. They are going to have a wonderful time in their new bedroom. Now, I have still got Olivia's house that needs a bedroom for the parents. So make sure you let me know if you would like me to build one, and I will. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment and click like. And I'm going to see you again really, really soon. Bye.